Rosemary Wells Macduff Moves In, pictures by Susan Jeffers. In the back of a dog catcher's truck sat a little white dog nobody wanted. Thump! Went the truck over a bump in the road. The little dog popped out into the night. He tumbled into the soft earth of a tulip bed. He did not know where he was. He needed something to eat. He needed a warm place to sleep. So he went looking. Woof, said the little white dog at the front door of number six Pine Road. But the answer from the other side was Woof, he said on the front steps of number 12 Oak Lane. But someone said from the woodpile. Strange voices hooted and whistled at him from the trees. Ooh, ooh. Many pairs of eyes winked and blinked at him from the darkness of people's gardens. Rain poured down. It swirled and swept around him. Suddenly, the wind came up. It blew the clouds and rain away. And the moon smiled full on the world. Through an open window in the kitchen of number 7 Elm Road, waved it a smell of vanilla rice pudding and sausages. Woof, 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 said the little white dog. Nobody growled at him. Nobody hissed at him. Somebody opened the door and asked him to come in. It was Lucy. This is Fred, said Lucy. No one had ever asked him to come in. Everyone had always told him to go away. What does his collar say? asked Fred. Animal number 47, city pound, said Lucy. He needs help, said Fred. Lucy spooned out a dish of vanilla rice pudding. She sliced sausages on top of it. He's hungry, she said. After a coconut herbal bath, he looked like a snow cloud. We certainly can't keep him, Fred said. We're much too busy. I guess we'll have to take him to the dog pound, said Lucy. So they brought him into the car. Fred drove up and down and around. You are going in circles, Fred, said Lucy. I don't want to find the dog pound, said Fred. I don't want you to find it, said Lucy. Fred and Lucy brought their new friend home. All he needs is a name, said Fred. They celebrated with hot chocolate. Lucy opened up a tin of McDuff's Melt in Your Mouth shortbread biscuits. That's it, said Fred. Woof, woof, said McDuff. The night was nearly gone. The rain clattered and spattered over everything. Lucy and Fred and McDuff fell sound asleep. How happy we are, they said in their dreams. Thanks for joining us, guys. And remember that AM and PM story time is for any time of the day, whether you're just waking up, noontime snacking, or bedtime is happening. Stop by and enjoy a book with us.